Treyarch is dropping intel left and right. We know all the guns already. We know all the perks, all the equipment, everything. And I can't keep up with making videos for all these things if I want to make, you know, decent videos. So I didn't figure I needed to touch on the perks and the guns and things like that, though. Those things are awesome and I'm excited. It gets me even more pumped and hyped for Friday or Thursday at midnight, whatever it is that you're looking forward to. But what I haven't talked about a ton on this channel is zombies, which is really funny to me because I'm actually a huge zombies fan. I have loved zombies ever since it was discovered as a hidden mode in World at War. And that is when I honestly, like I stopped playing multiplayer for the longest time and just could not put zombies down. I just played it all the time. But zombies has kind of been in a little bit of a weird funk the last few years. I mean, Vanguard was kind of garbage, you know, when it came to zombies. And last year with Modern Warfare 3, I thought it was okay i didn't think it was i thought the i thought the change of pace was different was fun and it was kind of cool for a little bit but then it just got boring to me and i really just missed that old kind of round base zombies feel the easter egg hunt things like that i thoroughly enjoyed black ops black ops 2 black ops 3 black ops 4 all the zombies leading up pretty much until vanguard um i thought cold war was fun but there just felt like there was a lot of things that have missing that what I've seen from the zombies in Black Ops 6 feels like it's kind of going back to that old feel. Now, I didn't know how I really felt about Liberty Falls being a bright map. It wasn't like a, a deal breaker for me, but I think it's cool to see that they have changed the aura of that map, whatever that might mean. We'll have to wait and see. But they're really going all out trying to bring a lot of things to Black Ops 6, and I love it. One of the things that makes me really excited it seems like more so this year than any other year they've put a lot of focus on zombies and on multiplayer instead of just warzone it seemed like the last few years their main focus has been warzone and they built everything else around that but to see zombies kind of getting back to what it was on top of adding all these cool new additional things is great and after reading through this blog i'm even more excited than i was when i saw the reveal of black ops 6 zombies there is a ton of stuff coming to Black Ops 6 Zombies, and I'm so excited to talk about it. I love the fact that we get two maps at launch, and then they're saying we're going to get another map before the end of the year. I think that's great. Personally, I would love to see a new map come with every season. I know that sounds like a lot, but that's just my thoughts. But in this blog, we get a really big overview of the maps themselves. And I don't know if these pictures that were taken of Liberty Falls were taken before the change, but it still looks kind of bright to me. It doesn't look like it has that uh, kind of scary feel or aura, whatever you want to call it. Terminus looks phenomenal. That map looks incredible. Now, I like the map design of Liberty Falls. I just think it needs a little bit more to make it feel like a zombies map. But one of the biggest things that I'm extremely excited about is all of the new augments. There's so much more that's going into this than ever before. The fact that you have so much that you can create and play around with that no player really is ever going to be the same, you know, instead of spawning into a map with a bunch of random people, if you're playing online and grabbing all the same stuff, you really can do things to kind of balance each other out with these augments, whether you're running the same perks or not. The fact that there's three major augments per perk, ammo mod and field upgrade is incredible. But not only that, you get three minor augments per perk, ammo mod and field upgrade. So there's a ton of stuff that you're going to be able to play around with. And the fact that they change how the perk or the ammo mod or the field upgrade is actually used is really cool to me. Kind of makes it to where you can change up the play style every time and it's really cool. So the perks that we got coming back, Juggernog, Stamina Up, Speed Cola, Deadshot Daiquiri, Quick Revive, Elemental Pop, PhD Flopper, and the new one, Melee Maki. Now, if you all ever played the giant map when you could unlock kind of the whatever the like, I called it the Kung Fu head. I don't actually know what it was called. That's kind of what Melee Macchiato reminds me of. And I'm really excited to try it out, even if it looks like it's trash. Now, I've got to say the Liberty Falls Pack-A-Punch camo looks like candy corn to me. I don't know if anybody else noticed that or not. I would love to see some slight adjustment to that camo. It doesn't 
in my opinion, doesn't look very good after I was like, man, that looks like candy corn, but it is what it is. I'm really excited that we're going back to round based zombies. I think that's incredible. I think that's what it always should be. The Wonder Fizz machine only spawns at round 25 and later. You don't get it any before, which I think is great, but I'm trying not to go into a ton of details on these things in this blog, more just sharing my thoughts and my opinions on the excitement that I have towards zombies this year. I think the fact alone that we have all these different things to test and to try out is incredible and it sounds really fun in and of itself. You know, from the past all the way up to this point, we're used to seeing all these loadout videos for multiplayer and for Warzone, but never really for zombies because you didn't have to focus much on it. But this year, it looks like we'll probably have a little bit more videos geared towards loadouts for zombies just because we have so many options now. Now, I don't know how you feel about this or not. I'm the kind of guy I liked the idea of spawning with a base pistol at the beginning of the game. So I'm really hoping that's a game mode that returns. I know it was rumored that that would come back as a classic mode. So I hope to see that in the game. However, I don't mind spawning with a loadout. So this year, loadouts do look a little bit different for this, obviously, kind of like multiplayer does. Now you're going to have a dedicated primary, which can be a primary or a secondary gun. You're going to have a dedicated melee spot. You'll have your field upgrade, tactical, lethal, in your gobble gum pack. Speaking of gobble gum packs, I heard that gobble gums are going to be in the store and that you're going to be able to purchase them this year. Can't imagine the amount of money that they're probably going to make off of people trying to purchase gobble gums because they want to have perkaholic or whatever every single game or to have a wonder gum from the box every single game. But there's a lot of really, really, really cool things that go into loadouts and stuff like that for zombies this year, and I'm really excited about it. I'm happy to see the symbol monkey back and the Casimir. Be interesting to see how shock charges and your smoke grenades perform. In zombies, I don't know if they'll have some special kind of ability that each of those will use, but it'll be interesting to see. And for our lethals, we're going to have frag, thicky grenade, C4, thermo grenade, impact grenade, molotov, blast trap, and combat axe. But what's really kind of exciting to me is the new score streaks and stuff that are coming. The RCXD that's going to have like this pulsating shadow rift thing sounds really cool. I believe that in this game, you also have to plate the armor like you would in Warzone. There's going to be like a missile barrage, a hailstorm, sentry turret, the mangler cannon. This is really cool. I'm really excited about this one. I love the fact that I don't know if it happens all the time, but the if you kill a mangler that you can pick up the cannon and use it a few times or you can craft it. Of course, you have the chopper gunner, but the mutant injection looks really cool. And I think with the different types of mutation, it would be cool to see an update in the future, make this to where you don't actually know what mutation you're going to turn into, whether it be like the weird meat looking zombie where they all combined or just different types of zombies. And speaking of that, it would be kind of cool to see a game mode come to zombies. That's kind of like mutation in Modern Warfare 3 season six, where you have kind of a left for dead type feel where one side is like specialty zombies and the other side is just operators and it's kind of a game of survival against these zombies versus operators but have it done on the zombies maps I don't know, just my thought. I think that would be really cool. And all the gobble gums that are coming to the game, a lot of these we know already. I don't know that any of them are really new or special. I know some of them maybe. But then the whimsical ones where the you kill a zombie and it floats in the air, that one's returning. I don't I think this one's new, the indigestion one. Apparently you kill a zombie and it like starts just farting or something like that. I don't know. I think it's cool that we get to select the operators that we play with, whether it be a zombies character or another character. Most of the time, you're going to want to run with a zombies character because you're going to get kind of dialogue that you wouldn't get from the other characters that'll tie into the story. But it's still pretty neat that we'll get to choose the operator that we play with. But anyways, that's just some of my thoughts and my opinions on the things that I have seen from the zombie intel leading up to this point and from the major drop that just came out a couple days ago. We'd love to hear your thoughts on zombies this year, whether you're a zombie player or not. Are you excited about it? Are there some things you wish were different? My hopes is that Black Ops 6 doesn't do all these things leading up to launch and then leave us hanging after launch. It seems like they've done a ton to make sure that they're launching with a solid game. And I hope that they do everything that they can to make sure that it stays that way after launch. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video. That helps me out a ton. And I'm trying to grow as much as I can. I love reaching out to new people. I love chatting with new people. So please, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to drop videos as often as I can. And I would love to chat with you every video that I come out with. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you all. Love you all. God bless.